Our military is trained to face combat, combat that is, but now they're finding themselves in a very different kind of a battle, a budget battle. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard live in studio for us tonight. Kimberly? Vince Marianne, worst case scenario, more than 70 layoffs are going to be taking place and 40 right here in Springfield. Plus, more than 1,000 Guard employees required to take furlough days, cutting a big chunk out of their salary. This is a field maintenance shop uh, and you think you have operator maintenance. Uh, the operator of this truck may uh, check the oil and uh, replace the air filters. You might call them military mechanics. Exactly, exactly what they are. Mm -hmm. And Captain Dutch Grove is one of them. As a uh, permanent technician, you know, I, I'm possibly one position that could be affected by this, so it is stressful on families. These Illinois National Guard employees are facing layoffs, and if they keep their jobs, furlough days. March 1st is the latest looming deadline the government is having to battle. $85 billion in automatic cuts to federal programs, a large chunk from the Department of Defense, unless something is done. I, I'm disappointed that our National Guard, our local National Guard units are even in this position. Uh, the fact of the matter is, this is bad policy, and it was bad policy when it was adopted years ago. Congressman Ronnie Davis says time is running out, and while both parties are to blame, it's the entire country that will pay. Because of a lack of Democrats and Republicans and the ability to sit down and, and forge good common sense solutions, uh, these, the sequestration is going to kick in, and, and it could have some devastating impacts on a lot of different sectors in our society. Not just the military, but every individual they interact with. The salaries and wages is a little more than $526 million. Should sequestration happen, that would drop by $52.5 million. So essentially you could say that that's $52.5 million that, that uh, these employees are getting paid that in turn would use that money to, to purchase things on the local economy and bring into the Illinois economy. And even if Congress and President Obama come to an agreement, officials say it will likely still include budget cuts. If that happens, the Illinois National Guard says they will have to prioritize resources and rework who does what job.